Um, yeah. guys, it's, it's Friday night. Uh, yeah, I know. Pokemon came out. Yeah, we're playing Pokemon. Oh, it's Gas Ranger. Oh? What's that? Oh. We have the Gas Ranger. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, oh, wait, wait, are we does, recording? Does that mean I, I get to... Did I, did I somehow walk into the studio, sit down, set up all our equipment, get all the news stories ready, watch all the episodes, uh, prepare a James AI speech, and, and, and get all the episode notes written all while playing Pokemon? There's a new mic. Oh, yeah, we bought a new mic. All while playing Pokemon? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Roll call, I choose you! Eh! We are live! Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Tempered Zeal. Bluecaster. Super Ichi. Loud and impulsive. Pinkcaster. Lane. One little spark of courage. Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air! Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode 269. Or 200, yes. 200, yes, we made it. Blaze Pokemon! This is the week you should be on tap because it's Pokemon Sword Shield release day. <laughs> Shit! Dustox! Multi beat you to it! How could you? It's episode Dustox. Oh, you've made a very angry admin. You need to catch a giant Togepi. Nice uh, save. Uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Pokemon Sword Shield's out! <laughs> and they're good so far! Uh, Asterisk. By now. Yeah. So, as you heard from the roll call, Gar and Tom are not here this week. It's episode score money. Fuck it. <laughs> episode Grookey? Hashtag Grookey Gang? Episode uh, all three of us. I'm the score money squad. Uh, <laughs> yes. Gang. So, uh, this week we are talking about Comrade Zero One episode 10 and Ryu Soldier episode 33. Thank God our shows are back! Right? I was undergoing withdrawal. Also, I'm back. Hi. Also, Lane. Yeah, I heard you guys had a real fun episode last. I missed my friends think they're funny. The movie. I'm so sad. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll be there back. I'll be there. I'll be there for the sequel. Hopefully, we'll do better with that sentence. That'd be nice. Yeah. You were there for the original. There's an original movie. I don't remember that. What? <laughs> Maybe she's like she's like you're there for the original i was like maybe the original my friends think they're funny. well yeah obviously that but i just mean oh, i hope i'm there for the sequel to the movie so because we're all in a justifiably uh just sorry because we're, we're all in a, a good mood today we're all, that wasn't where i was going but okay because we're all in a hurry to get back to pokemon sword and shield we're talking about three feature topics that are very short like super short like so short i wasn't even paying attention to that most because i was there to see my pokemon <laughs> I don't think anyone comprehended what you just said. I said uh, because I was barely paying attention because I was too busy playing Pokemon. <laughs> There's that. Because, you know what? We're here to talk about Zero One. We're here to talk about Re Soldier, which... And our future topics for this week are the apparently existing Episode 5 of Q-Ranger High School and Episode 6 and 7 of uh, Q-Ranger Brave. Cause... Oh boy, because I didn't watch Episode 4 or 5. What? <laughs> Let's just get this show done and out of the way Why so we can... Why is there a knight drinking a juice box? Because even knights got a drink. Wait, so are you talking about the future topic first? No! Oh. You're the thing! Never skip a week again. God damn it. <laughs> even James missed Don't us. Don't make fun of him. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I think the entire fandom is in perfect agreement that Ansatsu Chan is Precious Boy number one. No, and you know what? I'm very happy that Toei is even realizing that fucking Ansatsu <laughs> Chan is like great. He's so good. Oh, this means they're probably gonna kill him. 
God, I hope not. What is it with this week and having characters that get such strong, good development and then, and then immediately get stabbed? stabbed. <laughs> so we'll get to it. <laughs> Anyways, here's the Aruto face of the week. He's that, That's Aruto. <laughs> <laughs> After watching Re Soldier. Whoops, that peaked the mic. <laughs> I can tell because our new our new Yeti X Mike wow, you has it again. <laughs> that's fucking onboard metering, so metering. we can immediately tell how loud we are. <laughs> I almost made it. Let's turn that down a little bit. <laughs> rock and roll. Fuck it. Why did you just say rock and roll? No, uh, it's quoting Family Guy. Oh. <laughs> rock and roll. Watch. Why don't you just go sit down? We don't quote Family Guy in this house, mister. Oh, sorry. We, uh, Disney Plus is out now, so... Since yeah, since... there's something else to pull my soul into the internet. Can I, can I just say, it was an amazing feeling when I opened up Disney Plus for the first time, clicked on the Star Wars tab, and then just looked at my phone and went, nice I have all of Star Wars on my phone, accessible whenever I want. I felt like a kid in some kind of a store. No, I, I on, my, on my break uh, work, like when Disney Plus came out, I like literally put on the first like 15 minutes of Empire Strikes Back and I just, I was so happy. <laughs> I was like, I can watch Empire on my phone. And, awesome. and then you struck back to work. Also, they released they released a Fortnite uh, skin of, the, of a stormtrooper. So, Fucking wow. Yeah, so I bought it, of course, because of me and Star Wars and then uh, also, Jedi Fallen Order came out today, so I got that. Oh, sweet. Christ. How is it? Uh, from what I played for the first 20 minutes, really fun. And it's y- it's like Dark Souls meets... Uh, Star Wars? Yeah. Dark Wars? Yeah. Star Souls? Star Souls, that's good. There you go. And yes, Lane's watched two episodes of Mandalorian, and I probably will at some point. Anyways. Oh, the second one's out Yeah. Zero one. Uh, so this was a more so a Vulcan and Valkyrie focused episode. I like the Val- Arto was actually in the background, and you know what? I was okay with that. Yeah, it, giving our <laughs> other characters fo- giving the other characters focus is always welcome. So this I love that the episode started with plot rain in the alley from build, and then we got to see how the guy did the plot rain. He just he had a, ho- a hose up, put his thumb he over had a it, thumb and over a hose. Oh, look, you make rain. <laughs> That's how they do plot rain. We're doing zero one episode ten right now. Right, custom. Oh yeah, custom. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Hi, but yeah, so the the episode is mostly about this actor who is trying to star in a movie alongside the world's first Huma Gear actor. And they do this really cool fucking thing where like the camera has like the technology where it can like hide his oh, like headset, here. so yeah. like it just looks like a normal human when they're filming. But that's that's cool. I mean, in a universe, that's cool. But it's even funnier when you consider that all they're doing is just taking off his headset in when they filmed that episode. Oh, of course. That it, it makes it like wow when you think about it in universe, but also wow. hilarious. Oh God, I remember that too. The wow. Wow. Um. So yeah, the June, the vice president of Heden, is uh, the executive producer, meaning he paid for all that shit. Sorry, I have to for a second. There you go. What is the wow? Uh, and and Heden Intelligence is sponsoring this movie because the Humagear actor is going to get Humagear back into the good graces of the public. Yeah, after, you know, fucking a bunch of Humagears went rampaged in a fucking hospital and almost killed people. And I love that one of the reporters at the at the shooting announcement was just like, What about all those robots in the wild? I am not taking questions! And yeah, like, Arto. I have to go be a corpse! Whoa. I love it! They cast him as a fucking corpse and he just goes in on it. Yeah, and he's like, I'm such a good actor. Look at me. He's an extra in the movie. In case you're wondering. Yeah. That was good. I love that. Um, and yeah, Fu was there because Ames was, Ames was hired to secure Cause be security. security. And, you know, a bunch of a bunch of Ames uh, guards are, like, outside securing the building, and Jin finds them, and he's like, Oh, boy! Toys! I'm gonna have some fun! <laughs> Obviously beats the fucking shit out of them. Yeah. We don't see it, but, like, well, we kind of see it. Yeah. Uh, I love that, like, he's like, All right, time to go, Unsets Chan! Eh! Unsets Chan? As a dad, he like flies away, just all mad, like a little like crying child. He's like, yeah. oh, whoa. Um, 
It was also really good when they're talking to Awada and they're like, How's it? Mr. Awada, what's it like working with a robot actor? Well, he doesn't forget lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, in the opening, we got a very nice shot of Freezing Bear. Hmm. I don't know if that was before. And oh, that, so we, appa apparently. Apparently, the character Shinya Awada is actually the actor Shinya Awada. Oh, so that's he's an awesome. actual actor. Oh, I didn't know that. That's great. Well, like, what else has he been? Um, he's clearly he a veteran actor. He previously voiced Manpuku Aburame in Samurai Sentai Shinkenger. Oh, God, Manpuku. He's also well known for his role as the dub Japanese dub voice of Mufasa in Lion King <laughs> and its sub sub subsequent sequels. <laughs> So he's Japanese James Earl Jones. Oh my I am God. okay with that. Did he do Vader? That'd be amazing. Remember who you are. Oliwa, Oliwa. You are my son. Oliwa, Tosa. <laughs> Remember who you are. You are my son. Can you stop? I'm trying to say goodbye to Lisa. Come <laughs> say. So yeah, he's just a. He's actually just a famous. TV actor. That's great. So cool. Good That's friend. fucking great. Oh, he's born in 1947. <laughs> and I want to shin you as himself. It, yeah. <laughs> um, we cut to Yua reporting to her boss at Zaya, and we see a bunch of new progress keys on his desk, including Sparking Giraffe. Oh my god! And he's totally not going to be Thousand, you guys! Not at all! Especially since he said, oh, we're going to work at 100%. No! A thousand percent! And I'm like, I'm cool. You fucking... That gives me hope that the rumors we've seen are not real. <sighs> there have been there's rumors a rumor that Horby may be fucking Bowser, and I don't want that. Yeah. Uh, but he does make mention that he wants you uh, to collect Zetsuma Rise keys, which absolutely means he's going to get the Encino one that we're going to see next week. The Encino man? Encino is like a breed of rhino, apparently. Oh. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, Ansatz Chen is watching the the movie, or like watching the filming, and becomes like, or no no, there it, it cuts back to the it's arc, like and Jin and Ansatz Chen are watching one of the old movies that Awada starred in like, about being a samurai assassin, and he just gets inspired, so he makes himself Awada's student. He he wears a hat so that he can't tell he's a human. That's adorable. That's In great. so many ways. <laughs> I actually really like his outfit that he put together, too. Did he, like, steal those clothes? Like, yeah, he's trying so hard to, like, blend in as a human. And it's like, it just, like, just keep doing what you're doing, buddy. You're so adorable. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Cuddle Bear's chased after him. I like how the shadow's there, too. You didn't have to go that far, but there, look, he's got a shadow. Yep. So, uh, so Jin and Dodo attack the filming, and Izu tries to tell Aruto by doing this amazing, like, fucking witch doctor ass sign language dance while they're yeah, filming. And, it's she's, so and she's just blank faced the entire time. It's cr like, I wonder how many takes that Props to her act actor for fucking doing that. Like, <laughs> and, that's amazing. And the best part is, like, Aruto's, like, mouthing replies back to her. But he, is, uh, he has a mask on because he's like a coroner in the scene. But Izu still understands him and is replying to him with yet more funky moves. And yeah, he, like, he tries to go like help, but then like the vice president's like, you step the fuck down! Yeah, he keeps fucking up the scene because yeah. he's screaming at the robot. Yeah, the director's just like, extras don't, like, you're a corpse, don't move! <laughs> and like he like whacks his leg or whatever like that when he's yeah. lying down. He's like, ah, fuck! One other thing that we noticed while we were watching the episode is every time Valkyrie does a henchin or a form change, they, the camera gets, like, suspiciously zoomed in on it. Almost as if to go, this is how it's supposed to work, Fua, you fucking moron. But he still hasn't been made very aware of that. I think it's just, like, that's just... That, that's just his thing. Is he just, just going like, to do that the whole show? No he's going to do that the whole show. I want so bad for him to do that to the point where one of his keys actually breaks. Yeah. It's right. so weird, the poison. It just made me think of from uh, 
the thing I made up was the power of witches, which the thing that says is poison, poison, toxic, and ritual. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so that's all I can think about. It's the freaking Venero key. <laughs> no, sting, the Sting Scorpion program is so purpley. I'm sorry, I know that's dumb to reference something like that, but it was just funny seeing it. Because um, to respond to Kaguya, this episode, it did have the bullet bounce off her hand at least one of the times. Um, but there have been other henshins she's done where it did not. I did like one of her henshins in this episode, though, where, like... The she bullet just, like, spins around her? No, 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 no. When she's, like... When she just, like, fucking speeds past fucking Vulcan. And then you just see, yeah. like... They're just, like, rushing in. It's great. See, that was the henshin we should have seen the first time. Like, because it just cuts to her, like, on top of the dude. And she's henshin. And that was her first henshin. Whereas this, I feel, is a much better shot of it. Because you can actually see the entire process. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was one other henshin she did this episode where the bullet like spiraled around her, and that was cool. Uh, yeah, for the freaking Ansatsu Chen, he just like he does like this great like pose before he like transforms into the Dodo Magia, and yeah. just it, it's so cool. Also, I I I, I looked a, a real close attention to like the the head. And I love that he has, like, compound eyes. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Just... I also every, like... Everything about the Dota Machia is just great. I also like that apparently the Zetsuma Riser has a fucking Hisatsu. We got to see Zetsume Nova. Yeah, and it was great. That's nuts! Monsters of the Week have proper Hisatsus. No, he's not the monster of the week. He's the fucking monster of the series. Oh, absolutely. Oh, just he, keep give him a force riser, damn it! Yeah, give him, a, give him a force riser. Let him make a dodo fucking progress key, and like we need a rider. We need a common rider dodo. Shocked if that would happen. Common rider on Satsu. Oh, maybe it, uh, Dimension saying that maybe it's just exclusive to him. I mean, it's on the riser. It's because he's special. I mean, it's on the riser. I don't see why any other Magia couldn't do it. And, yeah, I love I love that just, like, the whole, like, Owato was, like, pretending to, like, like the actor, but he's like, no, you're really shit. And then, yeah, like, <laughs> no, but then, like... He's a fucking no, robot. No, but then, like, the thing is, he can't, he decides not to work with him anymore, because, like, he, like, ad-libs the line, but then, like, like, the can't human gear gets, like, can't yeah, the human gear gets, like, caught off guard with that, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, no wonder, he, no wonder he's not doing well, you... You did something that wasn't in his routine. You deviated from the script. Yeah, you. Fu- yeah, even everyone else was like, "What the fuck?" Like, but he felt he felt super proud that he ad libbed that line, and like, and, and he I, and he gets pissy about it because like, oh, he's a robot. He he, he can't he, emote properly. Yeah, he, he can't. He doesn't have like that connection that like actors acting is have. about actors clashing with one another. I'm like, oh my fucking god. No, that's a, acting. That's a thing. <laughs> sure, but acting talent. <laughs> I can't remember what that's from. It's Futurama. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, so yeah, Vulcan, like, gets the Gatling, uh, hedgehog key, and he uses it. And Pops it into a shotgun, which promptly turns the shotgun into a, a machine fucking gun. minigun. It's great. And then he, and then he, as he saw it, he uses, uh, it shoots just, like, a bunch of fucking quills. We get just, him, we see him do damn. both Gatling Kaban shot and Gatling Kaban buster. And yeah, at one point, like uh, Fua, he uh, he just like confronts uh, Yua about everything. It's just like it's like, oh, okay. So why did you like record that and like send it to the media? And she's like, I'm working for Zaya. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we find out that even though she is working for Ames, which te- which is That's run by Fua technically, no, no, Ames oh, is Fua's. Know. Like Fua runs Ames. She's just the technical advisor, but she's also working for this dude from Zaya. Well, here you go, Ichi. Oh, shit. Seeking Owl. Oh, I love oh, that's it. so cool. Very nice. Nice. Just how I fit envisioned it. Seeking Owl. That looks really cool. Search. That's great. Thanks a lot. Great job. Thanks a lot, Rider Custom. Um, and, like, I love this line, this this, this exchange of dialogue between them afterwards where it's just, like, you was just like, you know I'm going to betray you someday, right? And we'll have to fight. And just Fua's response... Yeah, when you do, yeah. I'm going to kick your fucking yeah, ass. Yeah, no, Fua's response is perfect. <laughs> He's just like, and when that happens, I'll win. <laughs> and if you ever come back, we'll kill ya! No, but I, I actually like that, like... I guess Yua... It, it wasn't that Yua had gut development. It was just more so... She, Yua and like, Fua's relationship had development. Yeah, and no, and Fu had developed a bit too, because he's just like, I, I know what I want to do. I know, I have my goal, you don't. Well, it was more like, 
Yua is working for Zaya, and Zaya wants to destroy Hiden because they're a rival company or something. Even though they work together to build that fucking satellite. They have, have a shitty building, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, they showed, like, Zaya Industries, like, the headquarters on the outside. And I was like, that's not a big-ass building. Well, I... They're you, probably, like, a more minor company. I was gonna say they're probably... Most of their facilities are underground. Because they're, like, the evil company. But oh, I, I saw... Wonder, I wait, saw, you mean figuratively underground, right? It could be both. But, but I saw the sounding scouting panda key, and I need to see the 0-1 scouting panda. Or even Vulcan scouting panda. What do you want to bet that the fucking panda form is just a recolor of bear? Oh, it's gonna definitely be a re... <laughs> like a pandas are a recolor. Exactly. It's a bear. <laughs> Fucking unoriginal ass pandas. I mean, I, I, not really. Fucking but... pandas. Fucking pandas. No, no. No, <laughs> no that's rabbits. They said they don't do enough of that. Dangerous panda. Dangerous panda. <laughs> um, this is actually a very weird question. Yes. It has nothing to do with this show at all. Okay. You never see Crayon's mouth, do you? That's he has like, the little groove in his face. Yeah, like but... you see that, but like you never actually see a mouth, do you? No. Yeah. Uh, but oh, yeah, God. so then we find out that Iwata wants out of the, the show and it makes fucking Dark go, and that's, uh, that's where I got the face of the week from. Yeah. So... Um, next then, week is gonna about res- be about resolving that, resolving the film. We get to see the Ansino Magia, and uh, most importantly, Ansatsu has a gun. Yeah, he's got like this fucking like modified pistol, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, what's with that? He's a, he's gonna be an assassin. Oh my god, like <laughs> he's gonna be like MVP of this entire series. I'm not saying something because everyone is awesome. Zero one, Ansatsu. Ansatsu. Oh my god. <laughs> keep, keep, keep it up zero one you're doing so good keep dodo chan in this like keep it up like he's so good I'm, I'm so happy we've kept him around for as long as we have already i'm just i just really like he's like, died he'll, a, he'll die and he actually won't come back like he's died a few times and they back him up but like you know they could pull some bullshit and that's why i think they needed he like that's why Jin was like oh back or like or yeah because he was backed up in the key yeah, he's backed up in the Zetsurai's key i like that i actually that shot of Jin flying in and nabbing the key and just bailing it away the fuck into the sky was pretty great oh also it was cool when uh Z- what, what the fuck it was also cool when zero one and uh he dabbed! <laughs> I... oh he did dab yeah thank you god damn i wouldn't have noticed it if he didn't say it well, I mean, that's... I actually saw Melt Dabbing in the background of... Oh, God damn it. Okay, someone buy a screenshot of Melt Dabbing. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, and then we got a cool thing where, like, uh, uh, Jin stole the attached caliber... And like, yeah, they swap weapons. And no, and then Zero One just saw the the Atashi arrow like on the ground. He's like, "Well, all right, we're doing this." He just starts shooting Jin in the air, and just like, eh, "Fuck you! You're a terrible archer." <laughs> I also bought the Atashi arrow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it's so dinky and like not really <laughs> that great of a toy, but the dinky sound the, the sounds on it are great. <laughs> Holy Breaking shit, news! Holy one. shit! There's another one. He's gonna bring back the dodo birds, no matter what. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> He's gonna bring back the dodo. I want dodos to come back. <laughs> like seriously, if someone is able to resurrect a dodo bird and dodo birds come back into existence, I will adopt a dodo bird as a pet. I want a dodo bird. Dodo. No, dodos are cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, exactly. So they'd be fucking easy as fuck to take care of. Didn't they die because people ate them? Uh, because people, because they were easily, easy to hunt. Yeah. <laughs> no, they work. And I think they were low-level like, mobs. I think, I think dodos were only, like, based on, like, a certain, like, island or something like that. And so people just kept going to the island and just hunting them to extinction. So it was really sad. Especially because it was, like, hundreds of years ago. Um, anyways. Kip Soldier, what the fuck did we just watch? Re Soldier, you're getting really good, but do you really need to tear my fucking guts out while doing it? Jesus fucking I Christ! I just like. <laughs> 
Not as gone, you guys. Not like this. It's fucking gone. You know what? I had a fucking feeling they were going to. Yeah. And I even I said it while we were watching the episode because, like, he's having, like, a really, really deep conversation with Ko about, like, yeah, I was in a really great. bad place before I'm I met so you guys. I'm glad. And then I met you. And now, now I, have a new, I have a new, like, view on life. Things and, like, are great. Things are great. We'll and always be together. I'm just sitting there with Ichi and just going, like, <laughs> he's oh, gonna God, die. he's going to die now because he just he gained, like, that type of character <laughs> development. My but we weren't expecting him to die in the, the same episode. <laughs> My character arc is complete. We Like, we, we were speechless. <laughs> I, I actually I teared up. It was so I wasn't, sad. I wasn't sure what to think either. Was really well, let, let's get the things in order. So, the episode starts with Prion prostrating himself before the Dorans, apologizing for turning one of their own into a host. And he, they're just like, oh my I don't fucking think so. And, and so, Gachileus is just like. He walks in as Prion's on the ground, and he's like, Stop sleeping! If you have time to lean, you have time to be mean! And so, thus, we get introduced to the brand new general of this series. Uden. Uden. And... Wow, he sure was a great general, wasn't he? <laughs> I, I mean, he had severe debut illness. Like, god like, damn. Like, that was basically his gimmick. So, so yeah. The his guy, gimmick the, was a combination of debut illness and the fucking Millennium Puzzle. Yeah, so, like, the, guy, the guy's ability is he sucks you into, like, his chest jewel thing. And you're just... The Millennium like, Puzzle! You're in this maze dimension thing where he's just stalking you and you fight him constantly. And the more you fight, the more he learns your techniques and then just uses them against you. He's and human. Then, and, and the more you keep fighting him, the weaker you get because he's he absorbing all your moves. He's hum he's like alien robot Smeargle. You use an attack on him and he learns it. I don't know why I that. And now we need the thumbnail for this episode to just be Uden's face on Smeargle's body. Ah! Aw, that's so cute. I can't tell if it's cute or terrifying. <laughs> it's crayon. I know what it is. It looks like the Disney version. <laughs> oh yeah, this with the back. Oh, I don't have memories. memories. Remember Nada scratched his back with the guy sword. Yeah. Remember when Nada was alive? <laughs> In our hearts. What the fuck were you just saying with the thumbnail? I've forgotten already. So it's, it's Uden's face, face on Smirgle's Smirgle's body. Right. <laughs> there we go. I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, <laughs> I love. You know what I like, guys? Living. I really like being alive. If I was ever somehow not alive. Really make me upset. Oh God! Um, that, that that life's great. So yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's like Toen. You know what the first sign was for me? Mm -hmm. There were two things. Number one, when I first saw Max Russell Red, I noticed some similarities to the guy Zorg armor, and I was thinking, oh my God, they're going to steal his powers. And power the max form of I, life. I just had a feeling that, like, Nada just had to, like, sacrifice the guy's Zorg armor to, like, help Ko. And, like, and he would he, just walk away and, from And he would just, just go, okay, well, I'm going to go off and train and try to find my own resource powers. Bye! And second, the, the, the thing I knew that, the thing that really clued me in, uh, they didn't add him to the opening. No, did that too. Because, like, we were actually meeting each other, like, oh, come on! There was even perfect space in the opening, like, when they were introducing them one at a time for them to put him in. Wow, B Vegas, just, they killed him for the sake of a power-up. Yeah. And that was what I was thinking, was he turned into a power-up. Now I'm, me power now I'm wondering, power like, when the, when the series is over and the fight's done, is he just gonna, like, take the claw and Toss it, and then Nada will come back. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, it, the Max Crusoe Reds is like a power-up, like, when you, like, you know, you know in Diddy Kong Racing, when you're just, like, getting the items, and you, like, power-up. Power-up! Up. Power up. <laughs> so it's just, like, it's the guy Zorg armor, and then you just power-up, and it's the fucking Max Crusoe Red. Uh, yeah, so, the, this fucking monster, this druid on General Uden, who lasted one episode. Like, yeah, he, well, who knows, he might come back. I don't know. Uh, it got Chileus dead. That's because he pussied out. This dude straight up exploded. <laughs> no, th that'd be great though if he just didn't come back. Yeah, like that. That was just it. No, I'm. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah, sure he's he's, he's gone. We, we have forever. already moved on to the next general in the next episode. <laughs> think, no, I'm pretty sure Precious is the leader. Yeah. Oh, maybe I don't know. Um, I wonder why he's named that. It's a female. It's a family. female. I wonder why she's named. 
Because she's precious. Fucking, I don't know. Um, but like, and also, how, how are the real soldiers enjoying their free time? Playing ping pong. Now let's get drunk and play ping pong. And, and we had a funny joke where like Asuna like channels like the inner power of this like legendary ping pong player. And like Ui's just like fangirling over it. And knocks out like Ui's dad. He, <laughs> he dog gets knocked out. Wakes up his set. Did you call me? We didn't call you. Okay. <laughs> just goes back, back down. Like, that yeah. was the funniest shit ever. This see, this is where these new producers are like really nailing it with the fucking humor in the show now. It's so good. The writers finally remembered what comedy is. You know, you know why the comedy was so good? What? They were warming us up for the sad. Oh. I had a feeling, like I thought at first after the last episode. But it would be like, oh, they're, they're, now he's going to be okay because he survived through that. And then this happened. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Um, but no. Now I got Ansatsu. It, it, it's like, it, it feels like like early stages of Rear Soldier. It was just like they were trying too hard with the humor. And it just wasn't funny. Yeah. But now, but now they, they have like these little mini moments of funny and it's great. But yeah, it's like fucking episode 12 of XA. It's like, oh, we got a happy Christmas song. Pop, pop, poop, people bells. Pop, pop, people stab. Yeah, and oh, I need to stop trying to <laughs> And, um. I think I'm trying to mask out. Here's Crayon. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then we, and Kira died. It was sad. Yep. <laughs> oh, it was people I mean, bells, Nada so. basically is Kira. Oh, yeah. oh god. They have a lot in common. <laughs> Gaisoku! <laughs> she got to say a lot and she yeah. got to mean a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's, okay, honestly, let's get into Nada's Gaisorg transformation. Okay, he may have died, but at least they gave us a bitch and ass henchin. And Roko. it was fucking hilarious. He takes out the guy soul and he's he like, know what he's, he's like, Reef Soul, guy soul? What the fuck do I say? And he puts it in the, the sword, and it just says Geisel. He's like, ah, okay, so it is Geisel. It's Greencaster! It's me. It's a Paul! What up, Greencaster? It's me. Sorry, guys. Can I steal my cell phone from the charger port there? Yes. Sorry. You're interrupting oh. us talking about our friends being murdered. Okay, let's talk about me doing it. <gasps> it's no! not Caster! What? Yes. Weird cameos! Whoa! Oh, glory no. down now! Extreme oh. cameo! Hi, Cell. Hi. Oh, hey, Emily, how's it going? Um, Hi, Emily. I'm, I'm okay. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night, boys. EG, have you seen my beloved Snuffy? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you don't know that. You punchline to that joke. I don't know. Bad so. hero! Cool. Okay. Bye, boys. Bye, Bye guys. People. Bye. Here's cameo. Now screencaster and Nordcaster, everybody. They're off to fuck. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> um. Anyways, Put so yeah, I just like I love that Nada just like he like it says Geisel. He's like ah, Geisel. Okay. Oh, okay. And then yeah, we get the transformation, and it's I'm kind of. I'm, I was kind of, if if like in a perfect world we would have gotten like a proper like sequenced tension and roll call with like the fucking battlefield yeah, flag the in the background, yeah. but like I like that the armor but, pieces just kind of manifested and then just slowly went on them and then the helmet just like yeah. Kind of, I, I mean, I'll take what I can get. No, it was still pretty cool. And he calls himself the Knight of Resilience, and that's adorable. <laughs> Knight of Resilience. He didn't. Re he didn't resist to this. Um. So yeah. So then it's <laughs> pretty much down to him and Bomba fighting, and I like that that like him and Bomba teamed up, and he's like, "Oh look, Bomba, we're fighting together." He's just like, "Fuck." We're the best of like, friends. Go like, fuck yourself. He's like, yeah, he's like, "Go fuck yourself." Hey, you changed, Bomba. No, I haven't. Why do you make Bomba sound like that? No, I haven't. I'm Bomba. Because he's the bombat. I'm Bomba man. <laughs> he's the Black Ranger. There's a pretty big difference between. My parents were stabbed. <laughs> with bullets. Ouch. We're stabbed with bullets. Um. So then, so then, Bomba gets like sucked into Uden's Millennium Puzzle, and literally, he does the smartest thing. He hides. He bails. He fucking bails. Yeah, just Bomba out. <laughs> and just he's hiding, and then he tells everyone, "Fucking run! Stop fighting him." Just Stop don't fight. Just don't Stop fight. Stop teaching him your moves. Did show my moves. And so while everyone's scurrying around inside the puzzle, 
uh, Nada as Geysorg does probably the most badass thing he could do. He lets himself get stabbed so he can get within point-blank range of, of Uden and proceeds to fucking skull bash a bitch! He fucking headbutts him so hard, literally the helmet on his head yeah. shatters to pieces. And I'm like, wow. But I, I actually liked the, like, the attention to him fight, because remember, when he, what, when the Geysorg armor was, like, possessed by evil, whenever he was fighting his Geysorg, that wasn't him fighting. That was the armor fighting. He was just on autopilot. So yeah. when we actually see him, like, you can tell he's not, like, used to, like, the weight of the freaking armor. And, like, you know, he's swinging his sword recklessly. And he doesn't know, like, exactly how to fight properly. Because the armor's just, it's new to him. Yeah. He's never properly worn it, like, without it, like, working for him. So I, I like that attention. And, like, and God, you can tell he was they in that... They paid such close attention that he died in this first fight. <laughs> no, and then, like, you can tell that, like, he was in that suit lock as, like, God, he was sweating buckets. Oh, yeah. Like, poor guy. Poor, like, poor not his actor. But, yeah, he just, he goes down, Ko gets out, he realizes, and just, he dies in, no in Ko's arms. He hands him the guy soul, which yeah. changes into the Max Changer and for some reason. And then he, dissolves and becomes a power. Yeah. Yeah, and just Ko is just he gives this fucking angry death stare and I was just, like, Holy shit You have awakened angry Ko! Yeah, Prepare to get skull yeah, no, fucked. And then immediately goes Max Reese Soul Red. We get this really I love all Okay, this. the sound yeah, the sounds it makes, awesome. I still don't like the design of the claw. I'm yeah, I'm the not claw. fan of, I'm not a fan of Aqua's face. A little bit strange. But once, like he, <laughs> once he transforms the armor design it's amazing seeing him actually look like really like a knight. No, I think oh, I think so good! Place will be happy with me about this. I really enjoy the Max Three Soul Red suit. It's really good, but nothing. It still does not compare to the amazingness which is Shishi Red Orion. That is still the top tier yeah, Sentai I, I suit. I love how he turned white. That this is what I wanted when we said Knight Sentai. Yeah, no. This is exactly the kind of armor I wanted. Uh, it's an armor we all want. Give me a blue version. Everyone. Max Ray so blue. Quick, who has to die for that one? Oh, imagine that! Imagine they all shared the claw. They all got like got Max Ray so black. Max Ray so. Oh. Hey, give me Nada! No, give me Nada! <laughs> it's my turn to play with Nada. So. He fucking just stabs the jewel, like, or, yeah, he, like, or, he just, he, he, like, apparently Uden has, like, a face underneath that, like, mask thing on his head. Which is, it's funny, because, like, when he had that on, he looked like he was a fucking geth. And basically he fought like one. He did look like a geth, that's what it was. Right? Wow. He was even, like, weirdly angular. <laughs> Mom says it's my turn on not on the nada. Gross. Aww. But uh, so he combines the Omo Soul and Hie Soul, and the, it summons the actual Ryu Souls, which each of them do their attacks at. at I Uden. forgot there was an Ice Ryu Soul. That's so cool. It was Yoko Ryo. It just happened. Oh yeah, right. Then we get the Ice and Fire Oops. combination. Um, and also there was a cool one where like Uden like uh can't find him, and he's just like hanging on the ceiling with the. Claw. He's like yeah. That was so cool. Who do you think you are, Kiva? Spider-Man 1. <laughs> you say that a hero can save us. Wow. Watching us. I'm sorry. Not as watching us. Aww. From the side of the claw. I hope he is. <laughs> and then uh, he does his his, uh, his hisatsu. Excellent! That he's sort of like... Max Ikeza! He's still able to sort of be there with them through it. Like, his actual presence is in there. And cut, to, cut to shot of the, the claw just sitting on a table while they're all eating dinner. So then, like, all the... God, they, that looks good. So, yeah, Eden, Eden just... Eden just Uden. Yeah, Uden just fucking blows up. He's gone. Like, this, wow. I don't know if we've had a general die faster than this. <laughs> there, I don't know. No, no. Um, that, the episode one of uh, Zuoger. Oh, Jag? Yeah. He was technically a general in the army. I, you'd have to compare the actual airtime, but it's basically both within one episode, yeah. <laughs> so you pulled a Jag. Um, so then, like, the, yeah, all the soldiers get together and just, like, Ko tells them, it's like, yeah, no, it's gone, and... Then, like, Ui finds them and just says, yeah, I found this recording that Nada made. And it was pretty much just Nada, like, it was the most heartfelt 
heart-wrenching, heartbreaking thing, like, just ever. Like, I was sitting there, and I'm just like, my mouth's like, just jaws dropped. I'm in tears. I'm just like, listening to every fucking word he's saying. I'm just like, oh my god. He was going to go off to just train to get stronger, and then come back and be like, then we could be a real fucking team. And I'm just like, a real fan. and I'm just like, oh my god. This guy. Jesus! He, he left that message, thankfully, to tell them everything, even though he didn't know And he even said, like, and while I'm gone, like, you know, just think of me, and, like, I know you guys will be stronger, and you'll get stronger, and you'll be, and together, you'll be, like, such a strong, badass team, and I can't wait to come back to that. Like, I can't wait for, for us, for me to come back, and we're gonna kick ass, and then we'll play ping pong! Yeah, and he, like, he leaves the screen, and then he comes, and then you just hear him in the background, he's going, Oh yeah, let's play. Yeah, he's like, thank you for everything. And I'm just like, oh god, it's so sad. And right as the show ends on the saddest of notes, happy dance ending song. Yeah, I was wondering if they cut the ending. Fucking. So I can just see the kids watch, just watch the episode. They're like, okay, I guess we have to. Just dancing while crying. <laughs> It, so it, it almost comes off as like the purpose of putting in the scene with him saying he's going on a journey is just for the kids who are so young they don't understand death and what's they're just a gonna death? Be like, what's a journey, Ma mommy? Where's Nada? Oh, didn't you? He said he's going off with the train, sweetie. No, like the mom. Be back. No, the mom's like super into Rear Soldier more than like the kids. Come <laughs> back, honey. It's a train. Come <laughs> <Be> back. <laughs> He just wanted to be a real soldier. No, my re you know, oh, okay, I gotta find. Okay. Ah! Yeah, Bomba Man. Oh, that Bomba. Bomb Batman. Bomb Batman. There you go. <laughs> oh, hang on. Nada said he was going on a train. <laughs> I remember um, that my 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 dad's twin brother, my my uncle, um, when my cousin Joe went to see Lion King when he was little and his boss had died. Um, he told him that he went to Miami. <laughs> um, I don't know why or how he would ever have expected him to believe that, but that's sort of a thing in our family, and it feels like the right moment to mention <laughs> Miami! Yeah, like, of all the things he could have said, why he said, Miami! He's in Miami now. He's like, Miami. what? Anyways, if I had to, if I had to... That's the name of the episode, Donna Goes to Miami. Oh, no! And, and like, no, the, no. if I had to use a visual interpretation of like, or like an audio representation of what what my rea like reaction to Nas death was, it's just this. Can confirm. <laughs> that's from that's the that's from Robot Chicken with the giraffe trapped in the quickstand. We were being a little bit silly, but in reality, um, it was actually really sad. It was really sad. No, and I did when I said the Miami thing. It was just because I thought that was a very weird thing for him to say. Of all the things he could have said, I wasn't trying to make fun of anything. Not a no. died on the way to his home planet. It was entirely because out of all the things he could have said, he said he went to Miami, and that was that the one place he was forbidden from going. I, I don't. No, I, I have no idea why. I think I, I think always as a kid, I always understood the concept. Of, to Miami. Well, I think I think always as a little kid, I always knew understood the concept of death because like I always watched shows and movies where it was like, oh, he's dead, and it's and like that's oh. why it's important for that to actually be in in these shows where instead of censoring it and saying, oh, they're going somewhere or something like that, like in the censoring of the place, you might be. You might know what I'm about to say. Am I allowed to say something? Yeah, sure. Um, in the Bakugan anime, <laughs> in the dub, where they censored the mother's death as her not dying for no apparent reason and having her talk after she died, <laughs> dubbed over the scene. Yeah, no, that's me. Um, that just... I The Ryusoul realm? Yes, they said she was deathly ill, but she actually died, whereas in... The dub, they had it be like, after she died, they had her say, I'm just sleeping. 
to the real soul realm. And they implied that she was she was dead or dying. That's true, but they never really said it. Whereas this is something that people of all ages need to need to know exists. Yeah. Although I I will say that while I, since Disney Plus has happened, I've been rewatching Simpsons from the beginning, and I will say that like I don't remember there being this much talk about death and suicide in the Simpsons. Yeah. When I was a kid. Yeah. It, it, it's a lot more meaningful to, 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 to be hearing talk like that these days. Because, like, there's a lot of episodes where it looks like someone's going to die or Homer's talking about killing himself. I, but, like, legit. I remember Tom saying the last time he was writing Rear Soldier, he, like, put it up to a B-. minus. This episode fucking t- brought it up to an A. Yeah. It's at, it's at a fucking A now. This show's done a stellar job like, of making up for its first half. Th- thank you. Thank you for fucking firing those old producers. Like, thank God. Like, <laughs> it, it, no, it was... Because, like, cool... G- kudos for trying to get, like, people who've never done Sentai before. But it's like, no, if you're going to do Sentai right, like, you got to get the veterans. you got to get the people who know what the fuck they're doing. Yep. And it's like, we know how to write a good Sentai. Or at least do that. be half and half with people learning from the people. Already known. Yeah, like have like one be a veteran Sentai writer and then the other one another like a new one. That like, way the new people can actually learn how to write it and it works good well for everybody. It works good in this way. But like legit, I, I'm going to miss Nada. Like he was yeah. a really interesting like addition to the cast and he was a fun character. He got so much development and just like I'm gonna miss him like a lot. <laughs> he was so cool. I think they're and, all they're all going. And on top of that, I'm sad we didn't get a proper 7th Ryu soldier. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Yes, he was. He was the 7th Ryu soldier. And I like I mean, that sure, I like that but... I like that before like the ending song came on, they all kind of like clashed their swords together. And then and, there's like, just memory. Kanalo's just holding his gun and he can't reach them. <laughs> Aww, poor Kanalo. <laughs> yeah, he just has his little blade thing. <laughs> yeah. So, rest in peace, Nada. You're now a power up. So, have fun with that. You will live on, I yeah, guess. He's gonna he, be with them. He'll, he'll live on with... <laughs> <laughs> he's with Master Red now. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Dude, he's just the Master Red's just like, Really, dude? You got yourself fucking killed? He's like, what? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, now you're never gonna be Reese Soul Red. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. The sauce on this one. The sauce? I don't know. I'm drenched in sauce. <laughs> Gross. Next! Yoshalaki! Oh wow! I could only find that Civil War wallpaper, so apologies for that. I still really, really, really love that song. Oh, uh, that reminds me of something. It's been a while since we've checked in with our old buddies, the Q Rangers. So yeah, we're talking about Q High School episode five, and honestly, I barely remember anything that happened in the first four it, episodes. It was literally five minutes. Well, the idea was that they went to a the planet three B, and went to like the school, and the school was run by the Indivers. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Planet Sleevey. I don't care. If it's and here technically... is the latest magic shot photo that they added to Galaxy's Edge, and it looks pretty familiar. Oh yeah, I saw you post about this. There you go, Ichi, go down there and do the wink, wink. Yeah, right? <laughs> I missed that. The first episode ending will be the best one forever. All thrusting and everything. So, so yeah, the, the High School Wars Q-Ranger DVD came out, and apparently there was a secret fifth episode that was exclusive to the DVD. So. And we did n- not know anything about it. So it, it's it's really cut and dry. It's only about five minutes. So it, it comes right after they beat the principal Endeavor. And Xandabar, this big blue scary dude, knocks Champ and Stinger off a cliff. And we get the Chairman Endebay. There's this creepy, suspicious guy with weirdly yellow hands and face. And, and Kotaro... Uh, like an entire beat or a head. Yeah. And Kotaro channels the inner techniques of all of his teachers that he learned at Rebellion Weren't School. Yes, they were all suit actors. I don't know exactly who all of them were. One of them was Kyo, uh, Kyo, 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 Kyo Blue. Blue. 
There, uh, were, there were, I don't know who the second one was. The third one was Zuo Shark, and then I don't know who the fourth one was, and then the last one I think was Captain Marvelous. It was for, yeah, because there was like, oh, five. I know Captain Marvel. Yeah. Yeah, and no. Then, if, if you remember in in Kirinjir Vegas when like Kotaro, uh, uh, Koguma Sky Blue joined the team, he like went off to I like had to go train. he went off to the rebellion headquarters to like learn how to be a proper like rebel soldier in the resistance. Were we making so. jokes about uh, he went home to watch Netflix with Jiro? Yeah, space Netflix. Uh, but yeah, TV Nihon subbed this. That's how we discovered this. They they released it as a batch of one video of all five episodes. Um, and then, like, while Kotaro's whooping this dude's ass, you just see Spada bust out in English, Go, Kotaro, go! Oh, my God. <laughs> and we got, later on, we got Spada going, like, Fantastico! I speak languages! <laughs> um, it, like, that, that was it. It was just the Curators being the Curators. We get to add one more to the Yosha Lucky counter, by the way. Yeah, and now we're at uh... a whopping... Wherever the fuck I have it. Jesus, they oh. got 335. Yeah, counting that one or 335 total Yoshilakis. Yay. Joy. <laughs> Joy. Uh, but yeah, th this leads into the episode Stinger movie. Because it... Oh yeah, it did. Because Champ and Stinger got shoved off the plot clip. It like outright the says like clip. continued in episode 2. Yeah. Fun. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got the Dark Q Changer recently. Yeah. It's fun. It, it's dope. Um, dark Change. Yeah. Next! Kyoryu Your Brave, episodes 6 and 7. This is about Kyoru Gold and him joining the team. Uh, yeah, so it's just them hammering out the drama of, oh, no, Gold is my brother. And he's like, no, I'm not, Baka. He's, he's my Nissan. He's my Ichi Nissan. Uh. Um, but, like, I like I liked the concept of Killer Gold's character in this, because it's like he's a mercenary for hire, so... The... Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to talk about stuff since you weren't here last week? Um, I didn't actually watch anything from last week. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> well, you didn't miss. You didn't miss much. Did, All that happened is Kyoru be... Gold was hired by as a space mercenary by yeah. the villains. I'm gonna be straight yeah. honest. Honestly, I kind of just don't give a shit about Kyoru Jabray. Like it's a cool, right, it's, it's rightfully a cool, so. It's a cool concept on pen and paper and everything like that. It's really cool that they did it. But like, it's a marvelous example of we can. But why did you? But why? Yeah. Like I, they did it just because it was like. South Korea had a huge Kyoruja boner, and it, they were like, we want to make our own Kyoruja show! It's, it's, Black such a, it's such a, like, statistical impossibility. It's it's a sequel to a Sentai show that was filmed in Korea, and then was dubbed back into Japanese also, and then was subbed into English. Like, that's like fucking possibilities within possibilities. It's just back and forth. I don't know if we'll ever see something like this again. Um... <laughs> And, like, so, like, yeah, for episode six and seven, it, like, I, I, I was killing Emily the whole time we were watching episode seven, because, like, we, we learned the, we learned the boss, his name is Desaurus, yeah. but I just kept saying delicious. Because I, 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 that's what I thought it said on the screen, I thought so, it said his name was delicious. So, so, yeah, so, I just kept calling him delicious the whole fucking episode, and then I, I was just, delicious. so then I was just like, no, and now he has his general's general savory and general impeccable taste. <laughs> And just Emily's just like, no, stop it! That's so funny. Is, it, is his weapon the savory saber? Yeah. <laughs> and the impeccable blaster. That that one doesn't work. I don't know. And I can just I can it, like if if there was a villain named General Savory, like I could just see her being like a general female scales! general, just that typical like, <laughs> it's like yeah, female the, voice. The like. Taste my flavor, Rangers. The bitter blaster, yeah, and then general <laughs> general bitter. <laughs> so you got you got delicious, general savory, impeccable taste, and bitter. They, I swear to God, half of them looked like they were fucking. Can we just had builds desserts. based off fucking different taste buds. That was, I mean, I still want there to be a food sentai. That would be a good good villain set for that. <laughs> impeccable. Yeah, but uh, so red and gold meet up once again at what I'm going to refer to as character development river. Oh my god, you came here! Character development. 
brother. That means you are my brother. No. And, and so I love that he joins them. He joins them, like the Kyoriju's eventually. But then they're like, oh, so you're part of our team? Yeah, if you have the money for it. Pay it's out, like, I, pay me and I'll, uh, and I'll work for you. And it's like, I, I'm wow. A, I'm a premium subscription-based Power Ranger. No, he was channeling <laughs> Comrade Emperor. Yeah, Just, a I'm bit. a writer for hire. A writer. Yeah, that, that sounded better in my Sally head. Sally Emperor's story didn't end well. Yeah, and <laughs> poor, I poor guy. I'm not expecting much from this one either. Oof. I swear to God, like you, they they show the fight of uh, like y the young versions of Red and Gold, and I can't get over how much the kid in that wig looks like fucking Kalua. <laughs> no, and then when they flew, they're like, yeah, they're like flashbacking to like them as kids, and I'm like, that is such a so a wig, and like, and but like they are on, definitely but, brothers. But on the adult actor, like that's his hair, because yeah. like, because Korean people they do that, they just dye their hair all the fucking time. Can't do that with the children. Nope, it's not cool. Um. So re so the the golden red fight a bit as they do, and then gold tanks a hit from the villains. Which, uh, apparently awakens the beast spirit in his hickey. <laughs> yeah, he's got, like, a fucking birthmark hickey. <laughs> and I'm like, is he gonna awaken his beast spirit and turn into a fucking Geki Ranger or some shit? What's going on? I will say, the one thing Kyo Ranger Brave definitely has... Like, I I'll say this. In terms of, like, the plot and, like, like how the like the characters and stuff, like, Dino I, I don't shit. care. But... In terms of how everything looks in this show, it looks great. The suits like, are great. The, the suits look are great. great. The swords are awesome. The weapons, their fucking henching dance is great because they do this cool like swing kick that I've like yeah. talked about before. I still don't understand why they had to like play musical dinosaurs and switch everyone's swords around. I mean, to be different, that's why. No, but they should have taken it a step further and swapped the helmets too and then dyed the helmets the new colors. You know what I mean? I guess. Because like Pink's got the raptor, but she's still got the Tricera helmet where she should have had a pink version of... Of the raptor of the Green Ranger's helmet, you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought I think that would have been a perfectly, uh, perfectly understandable and reasonable extra detail because now they've all got the helmet designs of their old dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't match the ones they have. Yeah. And Blaze has a good idea too. They could have just made a Sentai out of the Guardian Zords. That would have been a neat idea. And I feel like there's enough Guardians that they could have used the same helmets and just picked Zords that looked similar enough. Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't get Kyoryu Crimson, but we did get Kyoryu Navy. <gasps> in the Hundred Years Later movie. See, that was a great special. Yeah, there's that's how you do a sequel. Kyoryu Hundred Years Later, that was so good. Yeah. Um, but like... Yeah. They 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 fight. They just they use do their roll call, which is weirdly zoomed into their crotch from a low angle. Crotch level. Uh, they fire the Bojinma monster, which is weirdly awesome. It's got like this like almost hex patterned face, which is pretty cool. And then we see for the first time Brave ride in Kyoryujin. I'm glad they kept the sound effects because those are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it just uses effective effectively lightning saw blade and just finishes it off and. Episode seven or episode six ends with yeah, "I'll join you if you hire me." Here's my card. Go fuck yourselves. And then episode seven, he's like, "Okay, I actually believe in you guys. I'm gonna join you." No, it was no. It's it's he's still being an asshole because like the the other ranger slashes the dude who was weirdly like pink hair coming out of a lightsaber for head. He slashes him so hard that some of his money falls out, and the gold ranger picks it up and goes. I accept this as payment. You now have five uses of Gold Ranger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like he's a fucking gotcha character. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pay more if you want to unlock me, like, permanently. <laughs> I'm the premium subscription Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst thing is, like, he doesn't even have a different looking suit. It's just the Kyoru Gold suit. Yeah, and I have like, no come idea on, why. God. Like, what? Did you just, when you, at the suit designs, you are like, just decide, eh, fuck it. They changed his Zord. They made his Zord more blue, so why wouldn't you change the suit if you're going to change the others? It seems so random. Uh, like I Maybe said... Maybe they, they ran out of budget right before they were going to. I guess so. 
like yeah, like I said, the show the it show certainly looks didn't, good. It certainly just, didn't have the budget for good plot or episodes longer than ten minutes. Yeah, like the show the show looked good, but just like it had such a hard like trouble. It had huge trouble like keeping my attention. Also, they mentioned that next episode is going to be a Giga Brigigus. He's giggier now. He's even gigger. Even gigger. What does that even mean? For Giga, my Brigigus. Whoa. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, episode 7 is just about them becoming more on friendlier terms with Gold, and he fights with them, but he still gets paid. <laughs> they finish off the monster, and, and, and then Gold's like, my service fees just increase, and my immediate response is, plus tax, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the next episode is going to be about unsealing Gigabrigigus. Gigabrigigus. So we'll talk about that whenever we don't have anything else to talk about. Yep. Um, speaking of things to talk about, I completely forgot for us to plan what our next week is. Because Grease is still not subbed, BB Gates is still not subbed. So, we're gonna have to post in the Discord what we're doing next week. Eh, yeah, Garl, think of something he's smart. Yeah. We're not doing Bakugan. Can't we do that? Because it's not a toku. Uh, I mean, maybe it is. What if, what if the... Okay. Blaze, legit question. I want to ask you this: Is there an episode of Bakugan that has something kind of like a Toku hero or like a Power Ranger? Or <laughs> is something? there a live action episode? That, that that's just playing it with your cousins, like I could. <laughs> Kinda. Okay, explain. I don't wanna. I think I think eventually we should fucking watch a couple of episodes of Bakugan. <laughs> <laughs> God, God, God. This is back again. There are several references to Toku. There you go. We'll see. We'll see. If you're a good boy, Blaze. You know what? There's a good idea. Thank you, Orb. We'll talk about episodes two and three of Beast Morphers. Oh. Okay. Or Morgana. Oh, well, actually, I'd be down to watch talk about Morgana. Yeah, you know what? Let's do Gagaga. Yeah, I need to watch episode two. I need more Ember Jason in my life. <laughs> I'm glad Tom also loves Emmer Jason. Yep, we're doing that. Yay! I think ever I think everyone will just be down. Yep. Hopefully everyone's here next week. Anyways, that has been Radio Santa Cast Ranger. Uh, a little bit less shorter of an episode this week, but no, that's, that's because we're all in a hurry to get back to Pokemon. It's also because Tom's not here. Yeah. We Tom Tom has always good things to say. I Tom has that. become an indispensable member of this production. Yeah, Tom, if you're listening to this, we love you, man. Like I told real. you, we had Adido. I have the extra strength stuff. It'll make you fly, according to my coworker. <laughs> yeah, I want to fly. All right. So, uh, as usual, the primary source of our hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. Damn right. It is. From there, you can find our Facebook page where I post thumbnails of the episodes on Saturdays before the episodes go up, Sunday and Monday. So make sure you check that out. Uh, you can find our Discord server where you can not only chat with all of the cool people who inhabit it, but listen to the show live Friday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and you can check out our Patreon where you can donate and pledge to the show to help us buy more equipment like we just did with this new Yeti X microphone. Uh, let us know how the audio sounds in this episode compared to previous episodes. Uh, if it's better, we'll keep using this. If it's worse, I can fiddle with some settings. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Hashtag comments for Lane. Yeah, feed me. I'm hungry. Thank you so, so, so. <laughs> Covered in watches, man. <laughs> Does whatever a watch can. Thank you very much for listening and uh, everything. I hope that this was for you. And uh, thank you all for... Our, oh yeah, by the way, let's check out what our subscriber count is at currently, because it's still been going up ever since. Like, it hasn't slowed down. Let's see what we're at right now. As of recording, we're at 1250 subs. Jesus Christ! We're almost at 1300. Very good. Yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's almost 1300! <laughs> that's one more! <laughs> but that's tomorrow! 
the prompts tomorrow comes up for you. Wow. Um, so yeah, thank you again, and we'll see you next week. Thank go you, buy, everyone. Go buy Pokemon Sword and Shield out now. For the Nintendo Switch. Yep. Good night. Good night.